This is the U.S. Navy's Zumwalt-class destroyer. It looks like something weird. That's why people call it the billion-dollar warship, thanks to its super-advanced tech and hefty price tag. It was built to hang out near the coast and help out troops on the ground. But its coolest feature? Definitely its weird inward-sloping hull. It's the total opposite of how ships are normally built, and it's the secret to its stealthiness. This thing is a massive 610 feet long, but on radar, it just looks like a tiny fishing boat. That means it can slip into tricky spots without anyone knowing, especially with its super quiet electric engine. You won't believe this, but the Navy first planned on building 32 of these things. But all the brand new tech they packed in made the cost go through the roof. When they decided to build way fewer, the huge R&D cost got dumped onto just three ships, making each one crazy expensive. The final price tag for the three of them was a mind-blowing $22 billion. That's over $7.5 billion a pop. With that kind of cost, and with military plans changing, they stopped after building just three. The USS Zumwalt, the Michael Mansour, and the Lyndon B. Johnson. Even so, these ships are total tech wonders. Their all-electric power system cranks out a massive 78 megawatts of electricity, way more than it needs just to cruise around. All that extra juice was meant for powerful, energy-guzzling weapons they might add later. Plus, it's so automated that it only needs a crew of about 175 sailors, which is way smaller than the 300-plus you'd find on other destroyers. That saves a bunch of money over the years. They've got plenty of missile launchers, but here's a funny twist. Their main 155mm cannons don't actually work. The special rocket-powered ammo they needed cost almost a million dollars a shot. Yeah, it was just too pricey, so the Navy said, no thanks, and canceled the order. They also had another cool futuristic idea, adding a railgun. It's a super powerful weapon that uses magnets to launch projectiles at insane speeds. We're talking over Mach 6. The Zumwalt had all the extra power needed to run it, making it the perfect ship for the job. They even thought about putting one on the USS Lyndon B. Johnson to try it out. But it turned out that building a railgun that wouldn't just fall apart after a few shots was a huge engineering headache. So, they scrapped the plan and went with hypersonic missiles instead, since that tech was already good to go. They're actually installing those right where one of the old guns used to be. 